Yes, so the, the next thing um, we would want to look at in the Labor Act, it defines the maximum that is subpart to hours of work. It defines the maximum hours of work, different hours of work, paid over time, shifts, the morning shifts, afternoon shifts, evening shifts, which ones are allowed and how they are supposed to be conducted, and also who are considered as manual laborers and how are they supposed to be treated on paid overtime, which overtimes are not supposed to be paid. Uh, we, we've discussed it um, a bit in our past lecture, but the Labor Act will, will, will give you a detailed um, the detailed provision that has been made for it. And also commencement and closing of work. What time is work supposed to be commenced and what time is work supposed to be closed? The next thing is rest periods. That is subpart three, rest periods. And I take into which this subpart applies. Is made um, that provision is made in the Labor Act daily rest periods in a day. Uh, um, what what should be your rest period as a as an employee or as a worker? Weekly rest periods. Rest periods not to include public holidays. Your employer cannot tell you um, because you went on a public holiday the next day there is no break for you at work. So uh, so there there are provisions made in the Labor Act that protects us and it has also exceptions. The part five has employment of persons with disabilities. What are the provisions that are made for disability, um, um, those who are disabled? Registration of persons with disability, um, special incentives for the disabled and for also for employers who employ the disabled. They are, that these provisions are made in the Labor Act. Um, um, notification of employment of persons with disability, particulars of contract of employment is also um, stated persons with disability in public service post employment not to seize upon disablement that provision is also made um, if you employ me and um, in the course of the work I, I get disabled uh, are you supposed to terminate my employment at once because I'm disabled some way somehow um, that provision is made. Um, length of notice of termination. How? What? What? What is the? Are you supposed to give me a one-month notice or a two-month notice before terminating my employment? And what should the um, the disabled worker also do um, when he wants to terminate a contract or something? These are all these are stated um, in the Labour Act explicitly. Transfer of persons with disability training. Um, and also parts to be read as one with other relevant enactments. So um, these are provisions made for employment of persons with disability. Do you know there are some disabled persons who have been employed in TV stations? They read news. Uh, they have been given the necessary training. The necessary training. Um, I think there is one TV station that is... Um, um, but in, it starts with E, uh, ETV, yeah, ETV Ghana. They have um, a disabled person who is a nude, a news uh, caster. So employment of women is also an interesting part of the um, Labour Act. It's a, um, that, that is part six. Night work or overtime by pregnant women. As are pregnant women are supposed to work overtime and are they supposed to work at night? Prohibition of assignment of pregnant women. So there are some assignments you are not supposed to give to pregnant women because they have become very delicate and um, fragile. Okay, um, maternity, maternity leave, annual leave and sick leave for women. You know, women before they give birth, uh, get into the crisis. Uh, it is, uh, it is a critical point in their lives, and you cannot force these women to still work after delivery they are still not so well you're supposed to give them maternity leave in ghana i think our maternity leave is three months okay the labor act will confirm whatever provision that has been made for ghana annual leave for the whole year how how many days of leave is a woman entitled to and in fact it's different from the maternity leave so if in a year you're entitled to 30 days and um, in that year you give birth um so 30 days plus 3 months, you have about 4 months or even, well, yeah, let's say 
maybe um, four months and if you are sick for two months you have about six months leave oh my okay so this is this is um th that is it and also they are uh, um the labor act has also made provision for young persons prohibition of employment of young persons in hazardous work there is an age limit for which someone can be considered for employment even and all these are very strict and stated explicitly in the labor act health of young persons registration of young persons and interpretation i would want to pause here we'll continue in the next video thank you